dreams of an entire planet are focused tonight on those 14 brave souls. Bruce Willis, your services are no longer required. NASA last week managed to crash a spacecraft into an asteroid 6.8 million miles from Earth and it led to hopes that the agency could pull off a real-life Armageddon scenario and divert a planet-killing asteroid should it be spotted on its way to Earth. Whether or not they can could be the difference between life for the Earth's population of almost 8 billion and an agonizing death caused by violent winds, shockwaves, flying debris and tsunamis. This is what happened when an asteroid just 55 feet in diameter hit Siberia in 2013. So, could they really pull it off? NASA launched its DART spacecraft on one of Elon Musk's SpaceX rockets last November, targeting an asteroid 6.8 million miles from Earth. That's somewhere well beyond the Moon's orbit, but closer than our nearest neighbouring planet, Mars. It took almost a year for DART to reach the asteroid, known as Dimorphos, which is travelling on a harmless orbit around the Sun. Dimorphos itself is orbiting a larger asteroid called Didymos, and NASA hoped that the force of the collision would slow its orbit, proving that an asteroid headed for Earth could be diverted. The space rock is about 525 feet in diameter, shown here in comparison to the Colosseum, and if it hit Earth, would produce a crater over one mile wide and over 1,200 feet deep. Fortunately for the human race, DART did alter the course of Dimorphos by hitting it with the force of 2.6 tonnes of TNT, likely carving out a 65 foot wide crater. The final results won't be back for another two months or so, but NASA believes the collision slowed the asteroid's speed by 2.4 centimetres per second. While that might not sound like much, accumulated over months and years, it would be enough to change an asteroid's course to avoid a collision with Earth. As you may have noticed, this all depends on an asteroid being spotted early enough for a DART-type craft to be dispatched to intercept it. We're talking decades. Because the change in an asteroid's orbit is small, the space rock needs to make a few loops of the Sun to build up a large enough difference from its original impact position on Earth. NASA tracks millions of asteroids in the solar system, and none of them are on track to hit Earth. But scientists have only catalogued about 40% of the asteroids out there. That means one could suddenly appear out of the blue. And if an asteroid headed our way is big enough, such as the dinosaur-killing asteroid, which measured a whopping 6.2 miles in diameter, a spacecraft collision may not be enough. One of these generally heads our way once every few million years. Then it could be time to get out the nuclear weapons, but Bruce Willis's services are still not required. NASA believes the best tactic would be to detonate a nuclear weapon a few hundreds of meters away from the asteroid. It's hoped that would divert the asteroid by superheating part of its surface. The more conventional approach of nuking the asteroid directly could just create a storm of deadly smaller asteroids or fail to achieve any diversion at all. Blowing up a 600-foot asteroid would require a bomb 200 times as powerful as Hiroshima in 1945. So, life on Earth basically depends on scientists spotting planet-killing asteroid decades before it hits Earth. Let's hope they're keeping a close eye on the skies, or we might have to enlist the help of Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence. Make sure to like and subscribe below so you never miss a video from us.